For starters, there is the fact that many of the laws that make racial discrimination illegal are often broken and not well enforced. The Voting Rights Act of 1965, reminder, recently gutted by the Supreme Court, granted certain protections in an attempt to make sure that black people were able to exercise their right to vote, including a pre-clearance provision, which would have likely prevented the recent debacle in Georgia. Just because something is illegal doesn't mean it doesn't still happen. States across the country have enacted laws that courts have eventually found to be racially discriminatory. But often those laws aren't overturned until years of legal battles, long after the intended effect has already had the result of disenfranchising black voters. The impact of these policies that include voter suppression and racist gerrymandering is evident in states like North Carolina, one of three states in 2018 where the GOP lost the popular vote, but somehow still managed to win a majority in the state house of representatives you know the um the same way our racist president won through the verifiably racist and undemocratic electoral college system <laughs> so this yeah, is right so okay sad. so he, he went off into another another direction. another fucking tangent i know i hate this shit um the thing with north carolina is was true that they were they specifically were trying to gerrymander uh the black population to be less Worth, their votes worth less because they knew that they voted Democrat, uh, de yeah. disproportionately Democrat. Like you, you want to end racism, uh, get blacks to start voting Republican. And then all of a sudden, like, <laughs> well, I don't know if that's necessarily the solution, but <laughs> like, well, I'm just going to my whole thing is response to Republicans in, in a state doing something that's inherently illegal and racist. But. If the, well, I, I don't necessarily know. First of all, they're disenfranchising them because they vote Democrat. They, right, they're, like yeah, yes, they could care less what skin right. color they are. Like if they're white people that are voting Democrat, they're going to try and disenfranchise right, but using, them. Yes, but they're using yeah, but they know that black voters are an easy population for them to point out as voting Democrat. Correct. So that's why they chose them. Yes, but is right. it is it racist if they're trying to disenfranchise them not based on the color of their skin, but because of I mean, who I they guess you can make for? that argument. It's 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 a little it's a little. Uh, esoteric i'm not sure it's worth getting into that the, the niche the niche of that yeah but, uh, but i mean if you see the world through racist eyes and obviously right. but it's gonna appear but here's to the racist. problem you can talk about first of all when that case uh when this shows that it shows that the system as a whole agrees that that's wrong and that's bad and that's racist the court said you mm -hmm. can't do that <laughs> okay it's fucking racist and people have been banging on for years about the problems of gerrymandering and mm -hmm. it goes far deeper than just race stuff it's gerrymandering is a huge problem in this country that's what but, i'm saying i'm saying but gerrymandering. No one, but no one talks about it because it's not a sexy issue so i just no don't think cares. talking about it in racial terms is necessarily it's not the way informative that Yes. It's not informative or yeah. the way to get people on it. They're not trying to disenfranchise black people because they don't want black people to vote. Right. They're trying to disenfranchise black people because black people don't vote for them. As soon as black <laughs> people start voting for them, right. fucking rock the vote, dude. There get as go. many but, black people to the see, polls as possible. But see, but here's where he this does this weird... This might be a good outcome of the Candace Owens stuff because oh, if black people do okay. start voting, like if black people vote 50% Republican and 50% Democrat, then it's not, it's like they can't really just disenfranchise yeah, what kind of entire black... Are you Adam? What do you mean? If you're saying the solution to people being uh, bigoted and illegal is to give them what they want. <laughs> what do you mean? By, by saying that, oh, well, if more black people just voted for the people that but were But I'm being, making the argument that they aren't being bigoted and that they they're just... Liter they liter in North Carolina, they literally were. Obviously, okay. it wasn't because they're black. It was because they vote Democrat. Right, exactly, which is a but huge still, difference. Okay. North Carolina yeah. is a problem. I mean, it's in the South. You know how I feel. <laughs> yeah, I know. But um, anyway, my point was, my grander point, was that, see, but this is, again, another slimy... Mm -hmm. Cody trick, okay, because he talks about the North Carolina situation, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. he say, okay, obviously they did something wrong there. It's against the law. Court said this is bad. It's against the law. Then he somehow conflates it to the national election. Okay? Oh yeah, that's bullshit. And the electoral college, and you're like, wait a minute, the electoral college has nothing to do with gerrymandering whatsoever or race. 
Yeah, it has to. Do How does with, electoral for, college have anything to do with? Yeah, these? it has to. Yeah, it has to do with just the fact that smaller states uh, votes are are generally by vote worth he, uh, more than larger states, but that's by design. That's not did he racism. say the racist electoral college system? I think he did. He did. Yeah. How? What the fuck? What does that mean? The popular vote, but somehow still managed to win a majority in the state House of Representatives. You know, the, um, the same way a racist president won through the verifiably racist and undemocratic electoral college. So he said the verifiably Viably racist electoral and college. Electoral so now the electoral the... college is racist. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what the racists verif- are coming out of everywhere. I don't know what the verification is on the fact that the electoral college is racist. I'm not Seems sure. Seems like a pants on fire to me. Pants on fire well, situation see, here. Here's the problem. But wait a minute. It does make sense in his crazy worldview, okay? Because if you're using any, if if your definition of systemic racism is any racial inequality outcome, right? You would say, well, wait a minute. Uh, Black people live disproportionately in larger cities Mm -hmm. and larger cities are penalized in the electoral college. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. That does make it racist. Therefore, Ergo procto, exo facto. Ergo procto, vis-a-vis, it's automatically racist. Yeah. Got him. Even though that's obviously was never the intention and didn't and was had nothing to fucking do with why the system set up in that way at all. Yeah. Yeah. System. Now, second, laws don't need to mention race at all to be oppressive towards black people. The Constitution. Oh, doesn't oh, even use the oh word he just gave himself state. an out. <laughs> Did you catch that? Yes. He's like, oh, I fucked up there. Here, I'll, I'll fix it real quick. Laws don't have to mention race to be racist. <laughs> So what he says is a very interesting uh, lack of historical knowledge, right? Here. Towards black people. The Constitution doesn't even use the word slave until the 13th Amendment, the, the one that freed the in, in, enslaved people. And before that, it's not like we didn't have a system of slavery in this country. It's like a law needs to use the N-word for Dave and this grubby group of geeks to consider it to be a part of systemic racism. Okay. Yeah, ooh, that's what, t- like what a, a dumb argument. Okay. Slavery wasn't mentioned in the constitution by word, it wasn't mentioned in the constitution till the 13th Amendment. Apparently, someone hasn't read their historical con- constitution. Doesn't remember that little thing that everyone learned in class. What was that thing called, Adam? The three fifth compromise. Oh, you remember yeah. that part of the constitution? I do. And, and here's here, but here's why this is slippery. Because technically, he's true, because Technically, they didn't use the word slave. They used other words to describe this. What was the three fifths thing? Because that was that's messed up. That's totally messed up. But that's in the first draft. It was actually in the second draft. But oh, okay, the second draft um, of the Constitution. They had the yeah. It wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah. Because they had to hammer out the agreement. Right. Yeah. All the slave owners were like, "I want a lot of voting. I want a lot of voting prowess. I want to count all the people I own." That don't actually get to vote or participate in the democracy whatsoever, right? Yeah. No, but see, but this is why this is so dishonest. That's so crazy. Because oh yeah, uh, the Constitution. I got you. The Constitution does talk about uh, laws regarding slavery and slaves. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't use since it doesn't use the word slaves. He can therefore make this dishonest argument like, well, obviously, guys, you can still have you know. There's still racist laws without them directly mentioning. It's like, but no, there were laws that directly mentioned. They just didn't use the specific word you're talking about. They did directly talk about slavery. They this did direct, complete, directly mention all these things. He's is, also ignoring the fact that most of the fucking slave laws were not federal laws. They were state laws because all the states had their own fucking laws about this shit. Yeah. This, this is like borderline fake news here. It's not borderline. No, it is totally fake news. What We've gone saying? into the territory. There have been many laws since the 1960s that have specifically disadvantaged black people without explicitly referencing race at all. This country is very good at doing that. It's like our superpower. Consider the fact that for decades, there was a 100 to 1 
sentencing disparity between crack cocaine and powder cocaine. Despite the fact that they are both made from essentially the same substance and the dangers and addiction levels are incredibly similar. Do you know what was different? So again, this is, okay. Is he gonna say so it was only, culture that was different? Cause I'm curious, I'm like, well, okay. I'm, I'm so on the edge done, of my seat here. I've only done moderate research here. Oh. Okay, so maybe someone will show that I'm actually, this is not true, okay. but from the moderate <laughs> amount of research I did, this is again, another systemic racism trick. Because mm -hmm. when you looked at, when I was reading articles about the original passage of this 1986 law. Oh my God, about, you looked into this law? Uh, about them, about them, about Congress uh, passing mm -hmm. this ridiculously disproportionate sentencing guideline for crack versus powder right. coke. Okay, because I was I was curious because I'm like I don't think the politician signing this said in 1986 said we don't like the black people. I like, know. Had the, there had there said to be know. some justification, right? So I well, actually like, like, like no. this crack a lot. Maybe we can right. make a law like <laughs> yeah. So it's and it's like this again. This this is what they do. They they grip out all context of the situation and just look at the outcome. Right. Because yes, the outcome did create lots of racial disparity. Okay, but you have to look at why it was. If, if you're making an argument that there was some inherent racism there, you have to look at what the intention was. Yeah, intent. And the intention is was, it was in the middle of the '80s when crime was fucking insane, and people were freaking out and trying to figure out how to do it. And there was this artificial panic about crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. being the hot new drug that was creating waves of crime in every city. And there was lots of fake science that at the time people thought was real that said that crack was way more addictive and way more dangerous than normal cocaine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people, so politicians operating under fake news outrage hype about crime crack. being rampant and fake science news thinking that the drug was more addictive passed a law that turned out to incidentally create a racial disparity right accidentally sense. yeah accidentally not on purpose but no it doesn't matter because as long as the outcome adam as long as the outcome it's still racist okay yeah. that's all that matters all that matters is the outcome okay nixon <laughs>